Welcome back. All right, so everybody's talking about that hit, that slap, and we wanted to hear what Hollywood insiders Kevin Frazier and Michelle Turner thought about it. Tori, Eric, and Al talked to them earlier today. Take a listen. Kevin and Michelle, it is so great to see you as friends of the show, of course, but yo, all right, we have to know. <laughs> what did you two think about that onstage moment with Will Smith and Chris Rock? Let's say this, first of all, in the break, right after the incident, um, Denzel Washington, Tyler Perry, they came over to talk to Will. Uh, Bradley Cooper came over to talk to him. Will was crying. Yeah, he, he was, was wiping yeah. his eyes. And this is an interesting thing. Back to the SAG Awards, Nichelle sat down with Will, and he had a sentiment similar to Well, he cried he during said. that whole interview yeah. because mm -hmm. he said that he felt like his life was being taken in a different direction and that he was now charged with protecting the women in his life and specifically the black women in his life, standing in the gap and standing in protection of them. So I think that had a, a you know, a sentiment to mm -hmm. it. Yes. But let me just say, I never in my wildest dreams expected it to play out like it did. I mean, that man walked on that stage, did not say one word to Chris and just slapped Slap. him. Yeah. Nobody knew if it was real or not. Right. Everybody was confused. They were like, oh, here's another bit. Well, right. Chris was confused. He called him Richard when he walked yeah. to the stage. He's like, oh, here comes Richard. Yeah. And then, like, he slapped him and he went back to the stage and then he started wow. yelling the expletives at him. Right. And that's when I think everybody realized, ooh, yeah. Whoa. See, but, yeah. as the Whoa. audience, What's like watching here? from home, like we all, especially you go on Twitter, everybody's like all over the place. My <laughs> prevailing sentiment Everywhere. afterward yes. was a sense of sadness. Was there an overall prevailing sentiment for people behind the scenes? You hit it on the head that most people are sad because that moment just sucked the air out of the mm. room and it took so much joy from so many people. Yeah. It was one of the most diverse shows ever. Think about this, a guy from Philly, Questlove, won mm. right after yeah. Will for Summer of Soul, a fantastic documentary. And when he hits the press room, they're asking him about what just happened mm. out front. Right. And he said, I don't want to talk about this. It was no. definitely sad all the way around. I mean, I, I, I think, I don't think I can pick out one thing from all of that that makes any sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I thought the joke was in poor taste. I thought, you know, Will's response was just wrong. I, I thought that the fact that it robbed, you know, the moment from so many other people were really, really sad and that it took away from one of the best shows yeah. I've seen from the Oscars in many, many years that was produced by two black folks. Yes. Like it just all the way around, it just was like, whoa. Yeah. So we're thinking that after this happened, we're like, wow, it's a wrap. Um, they're gonna get Will out of here. He's gonna go home, mm -hmm. clearly. Um, Chris, we don't know where he is, but we, we haven't heard from him yet. And we're yet. hoping he's good. And we, we hope he's okay. But Will went to the Vanity Fair party yeah, with his that. family and friends. Yeah. He was celebrating his moment, and everyone was rooting for him up until that moment at the Oscars. <laughs> but he really, I mean, he's, he was celebrating his moment. I, I, I'm I tired. Think, I'm yeah, sorry. I think you're right. He was celebrating I'm his tired. moment, but I think he was also celebrating everybody else's moment because he forever hijacked this award show, which, like, every, like we were saying before we went on air, was to the best Oscars I had ever seen, at least in, in my adult life. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah. It was entertaining. Yeah. Everybody looked great. It was on point. People were talking about social issues in a funny, palatable way. So I, I will ask you guys this because as That's a comic. A great point. I know you have to, the show must go on, and I have had to go on after shows where a comic has bombed, gotten into a, a rough situation with an audience member, and the, the vibe is weird. But, Nichelle, I want to know, how do you think Amy handled the situation right after everything went down? I've been getting out of that Spider-Man costume. Did I miss anything? <laughs> You know what, I actually, I actually like that. I mean, you can't not say something. Right, right. Because if you're gonna go on right. with the show, you have to say something. So um, for her to just come out and say, oh, what? Did something go on? Yeah. The vibe is different yeah. here. I mean, you, you have to acknowledge it. But can I acknowledge those women for a second? Because, mm. again, I think a moment was robbed right. from these three women that came out on that stage and wrecked it. I yeah. thought Wanda, Amy, and Regina were fantastic. And I really hate that they had to 
you know, figure out how to deal with this after the fact. And it, you know, took the joy because they said to us leading up, this was going to be a celebration. It was going to mm, be sisterhood yeah. to the extreme. And Regina took, was so happy on the carpet. Oh, she was so, so good. Was, and she you. looked so good. She looked oh, fabulous. Yeah, she looked fabulous. Yeah. Kevin and Michelle, thank, uh, thank you, you. <laughs> for joining us on DBL. Thank you. And to be honest, it was just a very complicated nuanced yes. moment in pop culture that will go down in history. Yeah. Don't miss Kevin and Michelle every yeah. night because they're so freaking cute and I love them so much. <laughs> they're on entertainment tonight if you didn't know. We'll be right back. Thanks guys Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks y'all. Always a pleasure. Always. Always.